How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so, uh... This is not creepy at all. Hello? I have to go to Father's lab. Oh. Well, I wanted to explore a little bit. What's so bad about that? Ding dong? Clock has stopped at midnight. Ow. Well, okay then. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> he 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 hi. A doll? I kept walking, I might have stepped on it. I saw the thing pop up and I'm like, okay, push. Right there. Oh, that's quick. Okay. Well, I chose right. Great. Great. Bye. Aw, oh, that does not look friendly. A pile of discarded dolls blocks the way. This wasn't here when I came down earlier. Can't get through here. Need to think of a way to get to Father's lab. Well, butts. Why was that doll moving? Is that part of the curse too? Probably. Okay, kitchen. Good puppy. Okay, I'm gone. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. I hope I don't have to go back in there again. It's a birdie. Hi. Cute. No, wait. Got a gem. <laughs> Close the window. Close the window. I don't need some doll peering in on me. Okay. Okay. I'm leaving. Oh, it's Jem. Hi. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Heh, you're stuck. You can't reach me. No, 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 A doll room. Hey, oh my gosh. That really, that's the doll father made for me. Is it supposed to go here? You know what, sure. I don't approve of that. That's not weird. You're creepy at all. Okay, bye. This is the creepiest house I've ever been to. I'm assuming this is... Hello? It's locked. Do I have a key? Nope. How do I get in there? Another birdie. Hi. I want that. <laughs> Fight me! Why did I do that? This way. And that sound's not going to get annoying at all. Got an old key. The hell's the old key for? Why do I feel like I should be prepped for an attack? Purple moving painting. Mm -hmm. Oh boy.
Well, that did not feel good. The painting was hiding a cylinder-looking safe. Can't open this without the key. This key? Apparently it is that key. This is the creepiest house I've ever been in. If I remember right, this knife is a memento from great-grandfather. That might be useful for something. Should be fine to borrow it, right? Oh yeah, sure. Got a dagger. Nice. For what? Dolls in a glass case. Dolls in a glass case. How is that beneficial to me at all? Bye bye, receptionist room. I'm trying to prevent those stupid other. Whoa, hello. Changing room. Ah, oh, I broke it. Well, Tepity Tapa Two. Maria said she's planning to throw this dress out because it's too raggedy. Feels like a waste to me. Oops. I didn't mean to push that over. <laughs> I, I, nothing, father, I didn't go in there, nothing happened. Maybe I'm supposed to be here later on? There's no way this room has, like, nothing to do with the plot or anything, is there? I don't know. Can I strangle you? <laughs> Please? Bloody Mary? You in here? Yep, yeah, yeah, there you are. Got Jim. <laughs> oh gosh! No, 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 Oh, hey, a doll. Look at that. A cute little life-size doll. <laughs> Rude! You laughed at me. And, wait, we're here again? Hold on. Excuse me? No. Can I go back? <laughs> Hi, give back my daughter. Okay. Well, there's the archives key. I lock safe. I don't remember the code. Of course I don't. Why but did she reappeared? I saw that. Ah. Uh. Oh, right. Kinda need that. Holy crap. <sighs> hey, birdie. Wait a minute. Why did that... Okay. Data on live experimentation. Of course I would like to read this. There's something stuck in here. Code memo. Okay. No! Get off me, please. Mama. Mama. It hurts. Help me. Help. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to see Mama. Don't worry, I shall take you to her once this is all over. No, I want to go now, Mama. Mama! Oh, boy. 
Don't fret, everything will be fine. We just wish to test this medicine. It may hurt a bit, but not to worry. You'll soon feel such relief. No, Mama! I'm pretty sure your Mama's already dead. Stop! 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 Oh, goodness. Stop! I don't want this! <laughs> Mama, ma, ma. <laughs> yeah, that would freak me out too, Aya. Now that'd scare the living hell out of me. That's what that would do. Oh gosh. Anything else in here that I can do? An old diary. Humans are beautiful, but that beauty soon fades. That is the law of this world. But I have overturned it. After years of research, I have found eternal beauty. A body that will never fade, even in death. A body as fresh as it was in life. They have eternal beauty within their grasp. As we lose believers year by year, our, groups, our group stands on the brink of extinction. My body too is nearing its limit. I must find a successor as soon as possible. That's old books on the occult. Another diary. Something you marry, something. This is a nightmare. How could this have happened? Kill the bird. I'm just like. The rest of the pages are unreadable. The flame egg. Huh? Ah, I remember this book. There's a girl who has the mysterious power to control fire. And she goes on a journey to find the family she's been separated from, proclaiming, burn all those in my way. She did exactly that to all her foes. But I think in the end her power got out of control and destroyed the world. So she never met her family in the end. She was all alone. Poor girl, all alone. If I lose father, I'll be alone too. I don't want it. I have to save father quick. In my way. Huh? Yeah, I can burn it. But I'll need something to start a fire with. I think there was a part in the flame egg about making a torch to start a fire. I'll check the book again. Gather material to. The girl cut her tattered dress with a knife, made a rag, and wrapped it around firewood. Finally, she tied the rag on with wire to create a torch. Cloth, firewood, and wire. Got it. I'm... I don't want to know. I'm not ready to know. Uh, wait. Hey, don't go. I have a pendant for you. I'd assume this is what I have to do. Yeah, hello. Serpentant. Speaking of her, Mama, Kalina, Mama. Aw, I know they're dead, but aw. <laughs> I don't know the code. I'm sorry. I haven't. I don't know what the note says yet, and I don't want to jump the gun, which I might be doing. This is a problem. Um. So let's go over here. Hi! Wait, 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 what? Um... Oh 
Oh my gosh. That wasn't funny. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> well, that hurt. Quite a bit, actually. That hurt. Can I actually go anywhere with that? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's not, that's not fair. Come on. How do I get to the other side of that? Well, that was bull. Okay, so there's nothing I can do over there except for, okay. If you say so. But now where to? I have no idea where to go from here. Do I want to go back in here, maybe? That weird guy is gone. What's in here? There's a dead cat inside. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to see that. It's mom. Hey, Snowball. Yo, yeah, sure. What? Let's. Why not? Let's take Snowball. Why not? You're Snowball. Snowball loves Father too, don't you? Snowball. Snowball! Where are you? I mean, your legs hurt too. What do, I, what do I do? Speak of the devil. Snowball! Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I can wrap up that wound with you running around. Wait, huh? Your wound's healed. Whew, what a troublesome rabbit. Father. Aya, try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made a mess of the kitchen. Sorry, Father. Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and fixed up that leg while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's part of the family. Treated as well as any other. Yeah. You know what? That's fine by me. Okay. Why does Snowball have red eyes, though? That kind of creeps me out. Let's go save Father together. Got Snowball. Where did the creepy dude go? He just kind of vanished. Well, first of all, how many gems do we have? Eight. We have eight gems at this point. Wow. Okay, so what does this say? Chandeliers in the entrance hall, changing room hats, minus the bathroom planters, red dolls in doll room, and barrels in cafeteria. Oh, great, we gotta go hunt a uh, hunting for the right number of things. Great. We'll do that next time. This house is already creepy, and this is the creepiest place I've ever been in. I don't like this place. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to come back and about a week, I think. Actually, I think it's like six days, but you know what? Same difference. Anyway, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mad Father. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a horror RPG like this that you'd like to see me do? Let me know in the comments below. I've done quite a few already to this point, that have slightly different styles to them, but if you want to check one of them out, click the link across my head here. If you missed any stops in this particular playthrough, take the train ride in the top right hand corner and we'll lead, it'll lead you to that. 
However, speaking of this train is off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!